Okay, so um, on the left hand side of the dashboard, once you've logged in, you'll see a lot of information here. Um, the most important bit of information, or, or the only thing you need to really concern yourself with, is this one here, uh, the portfolio. That is where um, your gallery is, so where you're uploading all the products that you have in your shop that you want people to see, that's in your portfolio. Um, everything else, home slider, uh, pages, that's really if you're if you're going to be adding more pages uh, to your website, like a blog at later stage or anything like that, you'll be adding pages or posts. Um, but when we come to that, uh, I'll give you a tutorial when uh, when you're used to using your website. Um, so for now, we'll just concentrate on portfolio. So what we're going to do is we are going to say take uh, this item, the Gordon Russell shares, and um, create it in your portfolio. So how do we do this? We go to the portfolio, click on it, and we want to add new. Okay, uh, so the first thing we see is the title. So the title is going to be this bit here. Um, so we just pop that in there. Um, second. Okay. And uh, this bit here. Uh, will just be a couple of lines about the chair so it's by Gordon Russell the year you might have little bits of that or you can leave it blank it's it's up to you uh, but just keep it around five six words uh, because we don't want it to extend more than two lines uh, down okay and uh, next thing you're going to want to concern yourself with is look at his project categories. So the categories here, uh, ceramics, furniture, glass, lighting, mirrors, all of that good stuff uh, relates to this uh, here. So when you select it in a, a category, say you want to put it in new arrivals if it's new, it will be in that section and it will be in furniture as well. Um, okay, so we want furniture. Uh, and in attributes click furniture as well um, so if it's a new arrival and you check that um, let me just it's going to be displayed on your home page as well don't forget so right here if it's a new arrival it'll appear here um, because your new arrivals on your home page will be three of your newest items that you've added to your stock that's what your customers will see so I'm just going to uncheck that for now. Now, as well, if you sell the item, if you check sold item and just uncheck furniture, okay, and keep sold item checked, uh, then it won't be displayed on your website at all, but you're going to have a record of selling the item, okay? And that's really sold items. It's just for your records, like we discussed before. Um, so okay for now we'll leave it at furniture that's just a little FYI for you the next thing you're going to do is add the featured image so the featured image is this image right here that's what the featured image is so we want to add that um, so let's pretend like these aren't there and we need to upload them what you do is uh, click and drag the files in or select them Okay, I'm going to add the chair. Here it is. Click and drag it in. And there's the chair. So what you also want to add is the title of the chair. Uh, caption. Just keep these things as descriptive as possible. And this is going back to what you said to me about the Hubble telescope shining down in your shop. You want to give it this information to find you. You want to give it a description. Just be descriptive about your images. So it's a black leather chair. So we can type that in. Chair. It's by Gordon Russell. Put the year. All that stuff. And click set featured image. And there we go. It's here. 
So the next piece of information that we're going to add uh, to this relates to when you click more info and we get this. We're going to add this carousel here and the description, dimensions, item number. Okay. So to do that, just underneath this description, we've got a little button here which says Visual Composer. And in the Visual Composer, we have a choice to add template, element, or row. We're going to add a row. And we're going to split that row into two columns. Okay. So on the left column, we click the plus button, and we're going to add an image gallery. Click on the image gallery. Change the type to nectar slider style and click on the image. Okay, I'm just gonna choose it from here, right? But ordinarily, if they're not there, you, you're gonna need to upload them, okay? So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna add all these three. Add images. Okay, and now you can change the order as well, right? So I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, maybe I want uh, that one to come first, uh, put it here, I want this one last, that's the order I want them. And where it says here, enter the size of the images, for 600 by 400, that's exactly what you want, 600 by 400, okay. This thing here, on click, open pretty photo, what it does is, when you click on it, it opens this little thing. Um, I kind of think that's unnecessary. So we're going to switch it off. We're going to say do nothing, click save. That's it. Image gallery added. Now we're going to add the text. So select this icon here, text block. It opens up the what you see is what you get editor. And we're going to um, add the descriptions. So let's delete the default text and change it to heading three. Heading three is what you're going to use all of the time, okay? Heading three. Um, so what's up? We're going to put in the description. We've got carriage return. It changes that back to paragraph. Let's uh, uh, type in the paragraph return. Uh, next bit of information: dimensions. Uh, back to heading three. Put in the dimensions. What are they? Height 87 centimeters, da, 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 carriage return. Uh, yeah, we want heading three again. What's next? Item number. So let's key in the item number down. I think in this case it's CH001. Uh, bring this down. CH001, hit return. Um, and now the price. And you're including the price, so we want that to be a heading as well. Heading three for the price. So you can go back and double check this with the other items that are up. They're all up like that. Um, now what's good to do is uh, separate the content out a bit. So underneath price, I've added with all these a little horizontal line. Okay, you can see it there. Um, just to just to kind of separate it out because the next uh, we're going to say contact us for any additional information um, and by the way we want that to be heading three Going down heading three contact us for any additional information and we're done click save now you're going to add the contact form so just click the plus icon here. By the way, you can add the contact form there as well if you want. I think it looks better on this side. Again, text block. Click this and I've given you um, a little snippet of code. It always stays the same by the way. This is the contact form um, for your items on a customer account. That's the little short code here. So click save. We're almost done, we're not quite done because we've got to add in uh, the SEO stuff, okay? So just under general, uh, we're gonna add uh, SEO information. So what are we dealing with? Focus keyword. Um, you can hover over the question marks if you want and it'll give you some information on it. But really, focus keyword 
is uh, one word that suits this product the most. Uh, what is it? I will say, for example, it's a chair. And it tells me how many times that word comes up in the article. It says content, none. Just ignore that, right? Because the content, it's more for more refers to when you're writing a blog, okay? And up here at the top, where it says SEO, uh, once we save this, that light is going to turn orange. Orange is, it'll never turn green for this. There's not enough text. So if it's red, you did a bad job, go back and check it again. You want a, a nice orange light, okay? Uh, it'll give you an indication how you're doing. SEO title, it generates it already. Gordon Russell Chairs, Michael Martell Gallery. You can change that if you want to something else, uh, but I think it's fine the way it is. Um, so the uh, SEO description, I'm just going to have, th this is the little bit when somebody searches for that chair and uh, underneath their Google search they have, um, uh, they have a little description, that's, that's what's going to come up, okay. Um, so, um, let me see. there oh, okay so it tells me I have too many characters so I need to delete some uh, and just put a few dots uh, so there here it refers to this here um, you see when you google something and you get the little description Michael Mortel gallery blah 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 that's what people see in Google um, now this bit is really important project configuration full width portfolio uh, item layout change that to enabled right otherwise your page is going to look awful the next thing where it says hide featured image video on single project page yes click that now we're done we're ready to click save so we're going to publish this and that's it um, your item is on um, let me go to gallery and check it yeah, let's see, on the furniture. Let me type it in. Gordon Russell. You see two chairs. Uh, so one's the original one, one's the one we put in. I think it's this one that we put in. Oh no, it's the other one. I know, because we disabled that. one um, there you have it 